Hello everyone, welcome back to another Roman Reacts. We are here today to watch uh, another video from Dead Sound. Uh, we're continuing on with these Autodale, se Autodale series. And uh, the one that we did yesterday was quite shocking to me, especially. So uh, there's six more of these little episodes we're doing. We're going to be doing that throughout the whole this whole week. And yeah, that's basically it. I'm hoping you enjoy it. And uh yeah, let's just be sure to leave a like and subscribe as we watch together with this, shall we? There we go. So, No Monsters is the name. And um, this is the second part to this seven-part series. And honestly, I have no idea what I'm about to get into. So, the first one was quite shocking. I'm not sure how more shocked I can get from this. So, here we go. So, three, uh, three, three, two, one. Having trouble sleeping again? <sighs> Is it the monsters? Oh, sweetie, there are no monsters here. Once upon a time, there was a little girl. She was pretty and smart, truly exceptional, just like you. Today, the girl finds herself outside of town. Bedtime is fast approaching. Shadows dance between the trees. She too is scared of monsters. She starts running. A monster, she thinks. She begs for her family, for home, for safety. The girl is scared and alone. But just as all seems lost, she is saved. The handymen have come. The exceptional girl has made it home, and the monster is gone. For there are no monsters here. Not in Autodale, sweetie. We are safe here. Do you understand? Wait a minute. Was that the same girl? You're safe here, sweetie. Now, go to sleep. What? Oh, you are truly exceptional. Autodale needs more children like you. So smart and so pretty. You won't run from your monster, will you, sweetie? What the frick? Oh, gosh. Are we sitting comfortably? Good. Welcome, citizens of Autodale, to this PSA. Children, look around the room. Look at your father. He likes to read the newspaper and kick his feet up after a hard day's work. Okay, that... Even the exceptional people are the ones targeted. Like... I think I understood now that with, with the people who claim to be exceptional means that they are beyond... They probably see something beyond what they 
is currently in their domain. So for them to go past that domain, seeing what's what's there that's like not real or something that's really wrong, they come out to try to explain to the others. It's kind of like the parable of the of the, of the cave. I think it was a Greek story where like um, where uh, so for their whole lives these men were strapped in in a, in a cage in, in a, like a prison sort of thing, and everything that day they see what's happening on this wall, where everything upon this wall is is their viewpoints, the, the shadows, everything time or shadow mood things like that. That was their worldview. That that's what they saw, and they are just always seeing that. And then when someone goes out of the cave, discovers what caused the shadow, but other things as well, seeing something completely new, it's it it, sh it shocks them. They're like, I have to tell this to the others. This is so good. I have to tell them. And when they go back, the people in the cave deny deny it so much that they are willing to kill the person because it's against their worldview. Now, this with this girl. Uh, just uh, like running away and, and, and discovering something different, um, and the, and like the people, the uglies, they all deliberately pointed at her, like trying to like, this is the way, sort of thing. Like, they they just like, blatantly accept, like, yes, this is the one. Go get her, and they're deliberately like accepting this. It's it's just like, are, are they insane? Are they like completely like? Like like automaton like automaton style, uh, like people like yes, this is our life, this is our way of life, and this is a good thing. And no, it's not a good thing. You're being led down a a bad path. I think, man, man, what a story. And I'm so first was that one big giant lady in the background. Now there's five heads. With with a heart and lungs and just barely, what the heck is that all about? That just that's freaky. <laughs> um, hopefully YouTube friendly, because <laughs> it's it's a storytelling. It's art. It's not nothing. Like <laughs> but Dave, you got some some cra crazy sto stories with us, and uh, we'll look forward to the ne next ones um, in the next few days. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you had a good time. Be sure to subscribe to Dave uh, from Dead Sound and check out something random here for you guys to, t to take a gander at. Be sure to hit that like, subscribe, hit those bell for notifications, keep up to date to all of the latest things I'll be posting. Spread the word around, bring them um, bring them to the channel, and, uh, so, and the more you do it, the more YouTube's algorithms will eventually work in my favor. So, as always, I'll catch you in the next one, and thanks for coming on by and watching with me. Romans, salute.